Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Adrenaline Iron. Today I want to give you a quick update about my Yamaha YZF250 and reveal the price. So stick around. Today is Tuesday evening, exactly three days since I posted the video about my YZF250 and I asked you guys what do you think how much I paid for the bike. And there was over a uh, hundred people that tried to guess the price and commented and uh, I really appreciate every single one of you. As of this moment, it's close to 5,000 views, so this video is doing pretty good. And uh, I'm gonna reveal the names of the people who were very close to the price I paid. If you are $50 up or down, you will be included. I'm gonna read your name and your name also will be on the screen. There was only one guy who got it exactly right and I'm gonna tell you his name at the end. All right, so uh, Matt, $800. Peter Bartovic, $900. Ben Hamilton, $900. KTM Suzuki, $800. Steve Dorsey, $900. Jim O'Rourke, $800. Barry Kuda, $900. London Huddlestone, $800. You guys were super close to the price I paid for the bike. So the winner and the only guy who guessed the price correctly the price for this bike is $850 and your name is Devin Kokenji. I'm gonna put your name down here. Sorry bro if I didn't pronounce your last name correctly. You can uh, correct me below in the comment. Let me know how to pronounce your name. But yeah, you are the only one who guessed it. So congratulations, man. All right guys, thanks a lot again. I appreciate it. I think I'm gonna do it more often. I'm gonna ask you some questions and then you can uh, you know, comment below and give me the answers. Or what we can also do, if you guys have any questions and you want me to answer them, uh, ask me below in a comment and we can do these kind of quick videos more often. I can sit in my shop just on a chair like now and I can uh, you know, address those questions and make this quick video maybe once a week or so. So if you have any questions, post them below in the comment section and uh, I will uh, look at it later. All right, so uh, I didn't do anything on my bike yet. Uh, before I uh, go and work on it on the carburetor and, and try to uh, you know, to, uh, tune it and do everything, I wanted to get new parts. So most important guys, uh, if you get new dirt bike, and especially when the air filter doesn't look very good, uh, spend $15 and get brand new air filter. I do this always when I get new bike, I, I toss the old uh, filter and get brand new. This one is a no toil. You guys know I like to use no toil oil and cleaner. It's easy to apply. You can, you can see video in my uh, video section and uh, I always use it. So no toil, new filter. Then the next thing what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change oil. This is the oil filter. I got, uh, it should be fine. It's a Tusk brand, I, I guess either brand you get, Tusk is okay. And most important part that I'm really excited about is that JD Jetting Kit. I got in touch with these guys and they sent me the kit. I told them about my Yamaha and uh, I'm gonna review this kit for them. So uh, it was free, they sent it for free. I'm really grateful for that. And uh, I already have experience with my KTM and after I put this kit on, it was working so sweet, really crisp. So I'm expecting something similar with this Yamaha. So this is the kit for the Jetting. And then uh, this is very important thing. This is a fuel screw, fuel air adjustment screw. You know, normally on the carburetor that that screw, you need to use a screwdriver, but the, the screw is positioned somewhere on the bottom of a carburetor and it's very difficult to, to, to adjust it. You need like really small screwdriver, put it on the, on the bottom of the carburetor, just really headache to do it. So highly recommend if you, if you have four strokes, if you have these Yamahas, get this screw that you can easily adjust uh, with hand, with your fingers. It's gonna save you a lot of headaches and it will make everything way easier. All right, so that's, uh, that's about it. After I install new filter, I take out the carburetor, clean it, make sure I don't have any uh, uh, leak uh, in my, you know, on the booth, uh, make sure that everything is sealed nicely. Then I will install a jetty jetting kit and uh, clean the carburetor, put everything back in uh, with clean air filter, and I'm expecting the bike to fire up and run really well. Hopefully that will be the case. Uh, well, probably this week or sometime next week, I'll have time to work on it and then I will definitely share a video with you guys. That's about it for this video. Thanks again for everyone who was guessing the price and commenting on the video. I really appreciate it. And if you didn't, then uh, don't worry, I'm gonna give you another chance. Uh, I'll make more videos where I'll ask you guys for your opinion. Where I'll ask you uh, to comment and uh, tell me what you think. So if you didn't uh, participate in this one, then next time, please participate, you know, become a part of this uh, community by, by commenting and telling us your opinion. I'm curious to hear from every single one of you. Thanks again and don't forget, whatever you do, 
Stay motivated. See you guys later.